Hey, welcome to this Command Modern Air Naval Operations gameplay video. If you love modern simulations, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Command Modern Air Naval Operations. Today I'm going to do something different. We're going to jump into a scenario from Silent Service and see if we can drive some submarines. Now, one of the more observant uh, uh, subscribers of mine commented recently that he thought the uh, the, the, the the scenarios in here were a bit random and a bit boring because there's a lot of nothing happening. And I have to admit that it, it, it they're slower than uh, than the other games, but. Yeah, come on. I do cold waters. I love my submarine. So we're going to give it a try. And, uh, and and if it turns out badly, heck, we may just start the game over and try again and uh, see what works. So what do you say we jump right in there and start a new scenario? Uh, we go to silent service. We're going to do Delta Force. Uh, as the Russian Federation reasserts its role as a major world power following the collapse of communism, tensions have increased over several flashpoints for the Russian sphere of influence. Senior members of the Russian Defense Ministry wish to demonstrate that Russia retains and is improving its strategic submarine launch and nuclear missile capability. As part of a series of drills and improved readiness within the Russian Navy to demonstrate capability to the world, a Delta IV SSBN is tasked to evade a capable force of the Northern Fleet's most modern vessels before delivering a simulated nuclear strike at an airfield on the Kamchatka Peninsula. So let's load it up. And while it's doing that, before we, some, somebody did a beautiful PDF here. Before we do that, though, hey, if you've listened to me babble for the last minute and a half, and you just can't wait to see these submarines played, hey, subscribe, go ahead, consider it. Just at least consider it and ring that bell when you do so. So you know when I post another video, like the video, please like the video. It helps the channel so much. Share with your friends and especially let me know what you think. If you want to see submarines, great. If you don't, let me know. Okay, I don't want to read all of this. Uh, the bottom line is there are one, two, three ASW groups, uh, surface ASW groups, capable surface ASW groups that uh are after us, plus some submarines, and uh, they have rotary wing support. So, here's what we need to know. Uh, where's the execution? This is what we need to read. Transit to launch site, Olga, Pavel, or Roman, at your discretion. Receive targeting data. Launch four SSN-23 skiff missiles at the designated target. Avoid contact if possible. If contact unavoidable, launch of the missiles is your primary objective. Five, preserve K-117 Bryansk. That's the SSBN for follow-up strikes. 5.1, return to safe zone under ice. B-414 Daniel Moskovsky is considered expendable in preservation of K-117 Bryansk. So... We got to come up to 50 meters roughly, stream the satellite communication boy, take five minutes to get our targeting information, and then launch. Uh, that's the, the important thing here uh, is that you have to, to score big, you've got to get the, uh, the SLBM, or not the SLBM, the SSBN, the, the nuke. You got to get the. Uh, the missile, ballistic missile submarine. I'm babbling. Got to get the ballistic missile submarine back to the safe zone to score big. So really, you're under a time pressure here. Let's jump in and we'll see how that works. Oh, no, that's not going to work. I had to uh, click something differently. Boy, I'm doing good. Right there. I don't know why it always opens where I have to move it. Enter scenario. Works much better that way. All right, zoom out. There we are, near the top of the world. That's the ice pack, the line of the solid ice. Our launch locations are not too far, just a ways. It seems to me that Pavel, excuse me, Roman and Olga are preferred because the better part of the transit can be covered 
by uh, moving under the ice, which means only the submarines are a threat. The AI probably knows that and uh, will have the submarines one or more, maybe one at each location, maybe two, I don't know. And the uh, surface groups, I would think, are going to be out here. Um, Olga is closer. Going here is a lot further. Uh, so we're going to go here. Now, I have played this before, and I have gotten beaten, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see that happen again. Let's go ahead and get some plans. We are going to set our escort submarine's depth at just over the lair and creep. That way he should be able to stream his uh, towed array below the lair and also hear surface contacts well above the lair. Brianz, I'm going to set just under the lair creep. I uh, really ought to speed her up, but you really run out of time. Um, and take a more direct route to try to uh, God, I keep clicking wrong. Okay. To get on target. Um, I think I'm going to Adjust this a bit. I'm trying to get a little bit of uh, north-south separation here. And hopefully they'll more or less parallel each other here shortly. I don't know what else to do except set the time for 15 seconds and go. Okay. Now it tells you how to do this. Uh, we open the special actions game menu. Blah, blah, blah. I'll do that when it gets there. Uh, after you final authorization, be able to launch your assuming you live that long. All right, she's come up to depth. So is she. She's below the layer. He's above the layer. And we got a contact, but I, yeah, there, here we go, way out here. Got a surface contact. That's a big area of uncertainty. Here's another one. I said the uh, a very thoughtful comment by uh, one of my subscribers. This seems kind of random, and yeah, this one there's a. It, it, I've ended up opposing the submarine in here, and it was who detects the other guy first. This is not, this is a Victor 3. Our opposition is, uh, I think, an Akula. So it's dangerous. And that means this exercise is structured well, in my opinion, because they put uh, a submarine that would more closely emulate the uh, capabilities of a NATO boat. Well, you can see that this guy's got one whole um, convergence zone for his sonar. And uh, I don't know, I haven't played with an Akula, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was better, better, better sonars. Uh, but we'll just do what we have to do. And yeah, there's a whole lot of this. And skunks, surface contacts. We're getting convergence zone contacts on them now. Oh. Oh, I don't recognize. Wow. Let's see. Ooh, SSN 27 sizzlers. Uh, they're bound to have. Huh, I don't see. I don't see their ASW weapons other than these uh, torpedo launchers. Oh well. Uh, 
Uh, go. Fascinating. Let's change course a little bit and see if we lock these guys up a little better. Control D. 30 miles away. We're under the ice, so I'm not worried about air launch torpedoes right now. So these guys just... It's a Krivak. Um, SAN4, SSN14s. That's, that's awkward. That's awkward. We need to be under the ice. We don't want none of that. You can see how I was worried about trying to get the Pavel, that this is what we'd be dealing with. Over here, I'm thinking we're going to deal with one or more submarines, which means we'll make it or we won't. And we're too far away to know what's going on over here. Ten hours to go. We are running out of time. Really, this is a tough one. From the point of view of... Uh, time we have to get it done. All right, we'll just go ahead and commit to her exiting the ice there. Um, stop. One thing's nice about this game, you can really 40 to 30 nautical miles. Yuck! Control D. Yeah. Yeah, we really don't want to deal with that. Well, he disappeared. That's interesting. We lost track of him completely. He must be inside the convergence zone. We have to get a direct route on him. Really, from here... All right, now, just for fun... We're going to stop and listen. I'm not sure if that affects anything. It ought to. Let's get going again. Boy, this is tense. <laughs> this is tense. Yep, skunk there. We're going to have to get serious about her now. Let's extend that away. Six hours. This is going to be tight. Assuming we don't get creamed, this is going to be tight. Stop. Listen. Yep. Huh. Huh. 
I need you just get just inside just inside that launch area. Uh, uh, I have been sunk so many times right here. All of a sudden, torpedoes come raining out of the sky. And life sucks. All right, she didn't quite get in and quite get into the area. Okay, come to launch depth. <sighs> Stream to communications, boy. Commence download of target data. Stop. F2. I don't know why she went to 12 knots. I may have done something dumb. 131 feet should do it. And then we come to game, special actions, execute, five minutes. It's been executed. Now we just have a five minute wait and we'll get launch authorization. And we've got it. Launch four R29RMU Seneva NATO SSM23 Skiff SLBM at target Yakov. All right, well. That's just like everything else. We get to see a lot of the world here. All right, we do Shift F1. Select that. That gets some of Target Yakov. Select the whole thing. Add selected targets. Pick some of them. You want to launch one there. I think. Did that work? I had problems with this before. Okay. Yeah. Targeted. Select that. One of them. And for some reason, it's not targeted. Okay. Select that, select that, one of them, that's being ornery, four allocated, oh, wait, 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 whoa, I see what happened, it allocated four to one guy, deallocate, deallocate. allocate. So we got one for that hangar. Oh, you can't assign. Right. Okay, so we'll assign one to the and we'll assign one to the you know the way to do this is this. Let's go over here. And we'll have a quick lesson in allocating strategic nuclear missiles. <laughs> Yeah, see. And we get down deep in here. And we take all this stuff, we remove all these things. She should have no nothing allocated now. And then we should be able to grab some guys like that. Add those targets. Uh, allocate allocated one to that hangar and that's fine the other hangars are close by a hundred kiloton weapon ought to be good enough now we can do all this remove them come in here and grab these guys add selected targets runway 
Broadway 18, yep, 1836. Allocate. Select those targets. I got more than I got more. I got I got more targets than I got, or more weapons than I got targets. Allocate. We ought to have one left. Um, there. Let's add that runway access point and allocate one. And four are allocated. Now we get out of here. Zoom way out. This is the most zoomed out I have ever been. And cut this back to five seconds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She only fired one weapon? What did I screw up? And I'm doing this. Sh yeah, all right. Okay, well, you're seeing the I've got interface poisoning. Everything about this is there's the Briance. Come on, selector. Let's give her a second to launch another one. Yeah, there, that's it's good. She's. She's launching them. All right, she's launched them all. Now she needs to turn. And she needs to go. She needs to get out of here. And so does she. Except that she needs to go under the lair. Meanwhile, we can watch these strategic weapons cross a quarter of the globe and hope that there's no close in. Got three hours and 50 minutes to go. I think she can get to the safe zone if she can just get under the ice. Kind of interesting the way the perspective changes depending on where you click on the map. Speed that up a little bit. Pause. Right, we're on unit view. And thump. I think it killed all of them. <laughs> we launched four, but they're they're merved weapons. Yeah, they're malfunctioning. Oh, the one malfunction. Some of them have malfunctioned, but the targets have been eliminated. All right, zoom in here. We're not done yet. We got to get away. This is not as easy. This this can be really scary, challenging. But I think we might pull it off this time. All right, she's under the ice. And she's got two and a half hours to go. She, control D. Control D. 
16 miles roughly. She's got to pick up the pace. That's dangerous. Let's go to eight knots. Two hours, 17 minutes to go. Yeah, I think she can make it at this speed. Long as there isn't a bad guy waiting for her under the ice. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I guess I played this and actually had a big fight with a, I think it was an Akula. Probably lost two out of three of them as I played. And what I've learned is I played pretty much the same way every time. And sometimes I get the bear, sometimes the bear gets me. All right, I think she's under the, I think she's in the safe zone and happy. Running the clock down. Go as deep as possible. And the scenario is now concluded. You'll be presented with the evaluation of your performance. Minor victory. What did I mess up? Did she not get back underneath the ice? Oh, that's interesting. Last time I played that, she got under the ice. It was, uh, losses expenditure, scoring log. This launch was a success. Well, I'm curious now. Let's load up about 40 seconds ago and see what change has to be made. Let her go deeper and speed him up. 15 is probably excessive. 10. And let's run it again. And see what the scoring tells us. One hour and 19. She's got to pick it up. Oh, oh, oh. Throttle depth. Go as deep as possible. And cruise. And go. Ugh, ran out of time again. And this time it's Triumph. Uh. This launch and the Bryansk remained undetected by Op4. Oh, well, she must have been detected but not localized before. Isn't that interesting? It was worth running again just to see what happened. Huh. Well, there you are. Submarine operations are a whole different animal. And uh, and this isn't exactly a uh, highly complex scenario. I've been playing the simpler ones because I just get overwhelmed in the big ones. And I'm still trying to feel my way through the... Uh, uh, through the things that are smart, you know, what's smart with the submarine, this one submarine, these two submarines, before I take on uh, something out of uh, Northern Inferno when I'm trying to deal with a, a theater-wide fight. Uh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. In any case, there you go. It's uh, short and sweet. Really, if you're struggling with the game, play with these little ones. Watch some of the tutorials, uh, the ones I've done. There are other ones out there that are excellent. And play with these little things before you take on the big ones. Uh, if, you, if you watched my uh, video of uh, oh, the Canaries, the, uh, 
the Canary Island scenario. It took me eight or nine, ten, whatever videos, eight, nine hours to play. You know, it's real investment. And it's tough. It's cool. It's tough. But this is where you learn the little things that get you into playing the bigger ones. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button, and please share and comment. See you again soon.